So many wondrous things for the naked eye to see in this great new stadium, from the great dome itself to the record-long dugout down at the field level, 120 feet long, so that large numbers of people can say, I sat behind the dugout. And then each and every chair in the place, like a plush Theodore Lowe's chair. And then back to the great dome itself, circumscribed as it is by record candlelight power. The center of the dome, 208 feet high, and then not visible to the naked eye, the backstage. Apartments that cost $14,000 to $30,000 a year. Let's look. You're looking into one of the magnificently appointed, individually designed apartments in the great Houston Stadium. Appointments like these, this Buddha. And each apartment even has closed circuit television. Don't even go out to watch the ball game. Watch it in your place. Always, of course, in Texas, wherever you are, there is the beautiful girl. And she has a beautiful animated scoreboard to look at. Spectacular! 474 feet long. And then, of course, for the man who, well, who wants to go to the bar, there's the old-style Texas bar and the old-style Texas bartender. There are two individual Spanish apartments with the beautiful senoritas, of course. The apartment provides a good time for the lady with those individual kitchen pantries and samovars. There is one apartment that transcends all others. This is the apartment office of the man whose dream made the Astrodome come true, Judge Roy Hopper. This gargoyle is reflective of the accommodations. And look at that gold. This is the board of directors room. The big decisions are made here. And in his private box, the judge scans what they said couldn't be done. Yes, that's the judge's box. But back here in the playing field, let's find out once and for all if anybody can hit the top of that dome. Let's begin with the young outfield star of the Houston club, Rusty Staub. Rusty, do you really think it can be done? No, I don't think it can, Howie. Willing to give it a try for the fans? Sure. Take two, and don't okay. kill any of the Yankees. They're okay. the ones out there. Right over here, Rusty, if you will. All right, let's see what Rusty Staub can do. Number one. Hey, that's a good belt. And it must have been at least 75 feet too low. And number two coming up. Another good belt by Rusty. But again, at least 75 feet too low. Rusty, do you give up? Got to give up, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for trying. Okay, thank you. I wonder how this next guy is going to do. Let's bring him in. The man who hit 61 home runs in 61. Roger, just face this camera, if you will. This, of course, is Roger Maris. Roger saw Rusty fail. Can you succeed? No, I think I'll fail just as well as he did. <laughs> Will you try to? As a matter of fact, I might do a better job of failing because I probably <laughs> won't hit the ball. <laughs> Let's try to, Rog. And here goes Roger Maris. Oh! He really flubbed that. He called it a pop-up. Number two as he cautions Blanchard to watch out. Well, that's a good Roger Maris belt to deep right field. One last one. He's going to try it righty, and he hits a line shot to center field. You see, fungo hitting is not easy, is it, Roger, even for sluggers? That's for sure. I've never had a fungo in my hands before, so I didn't think I could hit one. There's nobody ever going to hit the top of this dome stadium, in my opinion. What about yours, Roger? Not mine either. <laughs> Too high. But it's a beautiful place, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Very beautiful. Thank you so much, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Now we're going to be talking about the problem, perhaps, of calling a ball game because of sunlight. This pitcher, or any pitcher, could have a real good time of it here in the Astrodome, and that's the current story concerning the great new stadium. This is Lum Harris, manager of the Houston Ball Club. This is an orange baseball. Tell them why, Lum. Why is because yesterday, for the first time, we tried the new dome stadium out in the daytime when the sun was out, and we found out we could not follow a fly ball to the outfield or pop up to the infield, especially the high one. So we asked Mr. Giles if a colored baseball could be used. He said yes for the exhibition game. We tried the color ball out this morning. We can't see the color ball as good as we did the white one. So that's out. We used 50 sets of glasses, uh, <laughs> a different kind of glasses this morning, and they didn't help. Uh, now uh, we've gone to uh, some experts on it from uh, around the country, and 
uh, and they're coming in here and see what they can do. And I think this, I think that they were smart enough to build this dome stadium. They're smart enough to correct that little fault that's wrong right now. I think you're exactly right. I think you should all be very proud of this most magnificent stadium. Lum, thank you so much, and good luck. Thank you very much. I enjoyed being on your show. And that's the story from the great new dome stadium in Harris County, Houston, Texas. Just one additional word. Nellie Fox, Houston coach, just said it. He said, who are the Yankees? They ain't got nothing like this. You know something? He's right.